Hello, welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we'll look at another incredibly fun vehicle, and this one is called the Lynx Mobile Missile Launcher, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is one hell of a lot of fun, where I'm just going to grab hold my character and just show you it straight off the bat. So please, showing this thing is far better than me going around the outside and showing you it at the end, because this thing is seriously impressive with both how it fires and how it repairs up the missiles, because it has an infinitely generating missile system, well, only if you're in creative mode. But yes, once we're in the truck, we can now press number one to go and lift up the missile pod at the back. Now, as you can see, we've got a bunch of different flaps. We do need to worry about them, because that's all handled by the missile system, which is on tab number two. So what I'm going to do is now reline the camera like so. In fact, we'll just leave it like that for the moment, because we can do it multiple times. I'm going to press number one, and missile pod one opens up, missile flies out. Then you can see the missiles being repaired up, twiddling around, and eventually being put back into their positions. And once they are in position, the flap will then close up automatically, and well, the process can start again when you hit the button. They are now starting to close up, and the missiles will go over to their destinations. The missiles themselves are the usual custom missiles that, well, are generally to be expected when you say custom missiles in Space Engineers, and they do repair up and rearm themselves in the usual fashion with a welder spinning around on a rotor before they go in position, but it has a fancy launch tube with the covers open and closed. We're going to reline the camera now and come all the way across to here and actually look at them like so, so we can actually get a better view of what's going on when they actually repair themselves up. So put the camera like so, I believe that is good enough. Pressing number one, and away goes the missile. So we can see the projector projecting the entire missiles, and then it slowly moves backwards, spins around, to make sure the welder can actually weld up all the parts of this thing, before it then relines itself, and then the lids will close up. Go and let that go all the way through. And there we go with the lids now closing up. And there we go. But what about the actual destruction of these missiles? Now these are actually quite scary. They do a hell of a lot more damage than I've seen from other custom missiles that I've tested on this channel. Moving the camera all the way over to here, we've got plenty of space pirate outposts. We can see the one that I've been testing on has been absolutely annihilated. And it seems like they've been going over this one over here. Because this is the only other one which is taking damage. So now I'm going to reline it like so. Press number one again. And we're going to sit and wait for the missiles to come all the way across to us and slam straight into it. Hopefully they will go for this outpost, they might go for another one, but I believe they will go for the first one that they see. So the missiles are in flight, we slowly see the pixels moving closer towards us. Here they come! And there we go, they just slam straight into them, but sometimes they do bug out and just slam straight into the ground. So we'll try a few more missiles in just a moment, that should have been long enough. So press number one again, and here comes the missiles. So we should be able to see the black pixels in the distance as they move towards us. And here they come. It's like a swarm of bees going straight towards this poor building. But here they come. First one straight to the middle. Second one. Third one. There's the fourth. Fifth. And there's the sixth and seventh. I'm not too sure where the seventh came from. He seemed to have done a massive round trip to get this outpost. But there we are. That is the damage it dealt. It basically should tread it all the way through there. And that steel block, that roof, is holding on for dear life. Oh! One of the missiles decided to come back for another go. How about that? Anyway, back over to this thing. It's now time to properly go through this vehicle. So, reline the camera. There we go. And now it's time to press F10. Find it in the spawn menu. Yes, the Lynx mobile missile launcher is a whopping 4,888 small block. But it's not really. That's generally due to the projectors projecting up all the missiles. But yes, it does use the Warfare 2, Wasteland, Heavy Industry, and Automatoms DLC packs. And we've got no information whatsoever. So we give this thing a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, and well I suppose what we'll do is just move the missile pod all the way down, there we go, and this is what we get for the very front of the Lynx. So as you can see, making the whole bulk of this vehicle, sort of light brown or creamy blocks, along with some black steel blocks, give it that overall great design. Right in the middle here we see some barred window blocks, and then some traditional windows, but right behind there is the seat where I'm currently driving in, to so I'll control the missiles, and the lift up and down the pod. Getting a bit closer over here, here's our wheel suspensions and they're being connected up. Run onto the side, not too much to actually talk about with this vehicle, it's mainly all about that missile pod on the back. They go put my light, got a couple strips of hazard skin. And around pulls over the back of this thing, here we go, just mining those trees. And there we are. So for the back of the missile pod, we've got two connectors doctoring up, and of course to put in the resources if you do want to use this in survival mode. It's very easy to use in survival mode, but you would have to spawn this in directly, because it does use a bunch of subgrids. Anyway, moving all the way up, looking down. There we go. All the way across towards the main body. There's a doorway to get in and out of this thing, where we do have controls in the cockpit opening closed remotely. Then down underneath the thing. There we are. And that's all we can see. 
So getting a bit closer look over this middle section. There we go. So we see a bunch of conveyors linking everything together to make sure everything can go from the main body of the vehicle over and up to the turret. And then as for that, what we'll do is just put the camera all the way into the turret. Here we go. Or even to the missile launcher even. And there we are. There's our welder. There's some hydrogen tanks, connectors, batteries, merge blocks, thrusters, gyroscopes. And across here will be our four warheads, which is part of the main missile. Then over to here, looking across, there's how well this has been set up. Up to here, a bunch of time blocks. Over and across onto the welding arm. There's our projector, there's our piston, there's our rotor. There's a conveyor that comes across to another rotor. Then up there, which we wouldn't normally see, some sci-fi skin blocks. That's where we'll put the camera slightly down to here, past our medium cargo containers. And here we are on the bottom layer. So it's not too much actually going on on the bottom layer. Everything's been put up top. We see how it's all been connected up. Then across to here. Looking around towards the front. And there we are. It's quite ominous looking at the bottom layer. How they're ready to be fired out of that tube. You could easily hide in here if you wanted to. But it's totally up to you if you want to get dragged along with the missile when you actually get launched. Yes, the missiles themselves. And there we are with that. But yes, that's that for the outside of the Lynx mobile missile launcher. It looks bloody fantastic with how simplistic the overall design is. It's basically just a bunch of creamy and black steel blocks with a bunch of wheels around the outside. But due to the sheer functionality, due to the way it has been broken up thanks to those black blocks, it does look fantastic even from a distance. But now, grabbing hold of my character, hopping out of the seat, I won't bother just flying through that door because it's pointless, but I will close it up, going into this corner, looking towards the back of this room. Here we go, it's got one hell of a lot of time blocks lining up these walls. We've got a red ominous glow for the whole interior. At the back here, we then got our helm with a couple of LCD screens telling us our speed, our power and hydrogen. Getting into the helms, we don't actually have any controls in this thing. Suppose if you want to, you could have this as a rear gunner, set up the missile controls for this seat so the actual driver themselves can concentrate on actually driving the vehicle. Hopping out of this and turning all the way around, there we are, that's all we can see. Couple of lights down the bottom, door at the top, and then our seat to actually drive this thing around. In the first person view, this is all we can see. So there's our windows, there's our barred window blocks. It's got lots and lots of protection from any kind of shots coming towards us. But with this type of vehicle, we want to be far away from our enemies and actually let the sheer wrench or the missiles do most of the work. Which is why it's going to be a perfect example when I start blasting those outposts in the distance. But yes, looking down and then looking up. Third person view. Now it's time to go through the controls. We've got two tabs to go through where, as we saw at the very start, number one is going to be lift up and down the missile pod and the bag. Then number two is going to open and close that door on the top. There we go. Over to tab number two, these are our missile controls. Where number one is going to be to fire all of our missiles at the same time. Although not at the same time, they will work on the salvo. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 before they repair themselves up and then the lid closes up after. But if you only want to fire a singular missile or a couple of missiles or maybe one from certain pods, then you've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 to control the rest of them. So say I want to only fire missile number 3, I can now hit 4 on the keyboard and away goes missile number 3. I can even just do them in random orders if I want to do that. There we go. And out goes all the missiles. If I just press number 1 and fire all remaining missiles, so there we are, there's no resisting messing up. If you do want to, say, fire one missile, then fire all the rest of them by the single Savo key. It's all fully functioning and works correctly. Apart from that missile on the side, let's pretend that's not happening, shall we? I'm just going to go grab on my character. Oh, but he's actually trying to escape. There he goes, he's flying away. Good old little chap actually made his way out the missile tube. But yes, I do want to have that closed up, so I'm going to press number nine or press number eight. There we go, that should hopefully work. That's a little bit dodgy. And hopefully that'll make that actually work correctly. I think I might stuff this up. I think I put my foot in my own mouth there. But off it goes once again. I think I'm just gonna stop that, grab hold my character, and realign the camera. Then that's not even happening. So undoing the parking brakes and moving the missile pod all the way down. I am just expecting a random explosion from that missile. Yes, moving this thing around. Here we go. This thing is incredibly slow. But that's to be expected from my giant carrier-like vehicle. While well, that's carrying a bunch of heavy missiles. Turning this thing around. Here we go. So we can do a fairly tight turn, but it's going to take quite some time to do, because once again, we are a very, very slow vehicle. And we won't be able to go up hills too quickly, because due to our sheer weight. Anyway, reline this. In fact, we're not going to reline this. I'm going to do spin this all the way around, and do it like so. Come over to tab number 2, press number 2, and actually test the missiles, to see what they can do. So yes, despite the enemies being over there, the missiles are not actually going to go in curve all the way around to go get them, they need to be fired in the general area or lock onto the enemy to actually fire this thing. So once again, now I'm going to spin this around. Here we go, in fact I'm going to raise that all the way up, so I forgot to raise it all the way up. We're going to aim it towards the space pirates once again. So with the free camera, finding the vehicle once again, here we go. Over to tab number 2, pressing number 1, this will be the end of the video. 
but here goes our missiles once again, and hopefully that missile pot up there will not be a problem. Out goes all our missiles, oh god, there he goes all the way down, in between the wheels. Now we're going to follow these over here, which is high in the HUD. There we go, they've now found the target. You see the missile is trying to adjust itself to make sure it's being on point, and it will slowly fly all the way over to the space pirate outpost and slam straight into it. We see it wibbling, we see it wobbling, as it moves left to right, trying to adjust itself. And then there, finally, slams into the target, dealing a nice bit of damage. And if it does miss the target, if it has found the target and then somehow misses it, it will do a U-turn and fly straight back to it, which is what we saw just there, because one missile did fly all the way past it. Pressing number one again and firing all the missiles. Hopefully all the missile tubes have now been fully emptied out, apart from the one which is wedged between my wheels now. Hopefully they will come over to this one, they might choose another target. We could sit here and wait for the missiles to come all the way across. They should go for this one because it is a rocket launcher on the side. But any second now, here they come. So that's the first one, second one, all oh, that was straight into that target here. There goes the rocket launcher, and then there goes the other missiles. There's one in the background, it looks like it was trying to do U turn, but it could not do it in time. It was too close to the ground. But that's all that's remaining of the space pirate outpost. Just one singular floating post and a bunch of rubble down to there. Come back over to the vehicle, where it is gone. And there it is right there. So it looks like it has solved itself, it has fixed a little issue with the missile. There's the missile right there. The warheads are kind of in a precarious position. We'll go do it one more time. I think we'll end the video. Pressing number one, off they all go. You know what, we'll actually fire it one more time, then follow them all the way across. What I might do is just fire them all at the same time, rather than doing it on a salvo pattern. And there we go, they've now all been fired. And that should be the last one now closing up. There we go. So yes, what I'm going to do now is get my hands ready in three, two, one. And there we go, all the missile pods have been opened up. Looks like one did fail. Now I'm going to follow them all the way across to the space pirate outpost. And then this will be it for this video. So all the way across. And they should hopefully find the target. They might find that down there. They might have destroyed all the stuff they're interested in. And now just going to fly all the way into the distance. But they just going to sit still and wait for an enemy to come past. They sort of act as floating mines once they do lose the target. But no, it looks like they have found the target all the way down there. They just pivoted all the way around. And now going back over to here to finish them off. They might be able to, I'm not too sure. But here they go all the way down. And there we are. That's very strange. I thought they were just going to hover in the sky. But it looks like these ones have found another outpost over here. And they're going to go all the way across. And there we are. So yes, that is it for the Lynx Mobile Missile Launcher. It's a bloody fun vehicle to use in your world, and I highly recommend just downloading it, play around with it, just to fire a few missiles at some enemies. So be linked to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around it yourself. Highly recommend you do. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.